On today's 2D's track analysis, we have the track of the day for June 19th, AC Mirage Leap of Faith by Florencius. Leap of Faith is a mixed surface track mainly comprised of the road and dirt surface, but there is also sand at the very end of the track. Also found at the end of the track are the effect and boost blocks, reactor boost down and reset. And to complete the track, there is just a single finish line. There is a cut on Leap of Faith and it seems to be able to save you up to 7 tenths of a second. Leap of Faith, however, does not feature a GPS and it also does not have any speed checks. Moving on to difficulty, I did not find the track to be all that challenging and would rate it a 2.5 out of 10. I also found the metal times to be extremely easy as well, with my personal best of a 33.897 coming in over 1.4 seconds ahead of the author metal time of 35.313. The gold metal time was 38 seconds, the silver 43 seconds, and the bronze 53 seconds. As far as a rating goes for Leap of Faith, I would give it a neutral rating, as I found the scenery to be quite fantastic, however the route itself was extremely simple and a little bit on the boring side. For the route analysis and comparison today, we are going to be using three ghosts for the first time. We have the world record no cut by Piranha, their time was a 33.492. We have the world record cut by Kebby, whose time was a 32.681. And of course, my personal best, which was a 33.897. I do know there were better no-cut times, but unfortunately, the people who had those better no-cut times are now doing the cut, uh, so those ghosts are lost to the void. Also, apologies that I forgot to record the inputs for today's video. Uh, luckily, there is really not too much that is out of the ordinary. At the start here, we just have a drop down, just hold gas the entire way, but as you reach the flatter ground, you're going to want to steer over to the left a tiny bit, then as we start up the bridge here, start going over to the right. This should give you a nice angle for the upcoming turn. And once we get to the flatter ground here, really the entire turn, you're just going to be trying for the best inside line that you possibly can get. Not much going on up until we get to this corner right here, which you want to continue going over towards the right. And then right about here, start going back towards the left. You should just scrape by these pots here, as well as a post that is coming up on our left. You also want to do a small release during this section. After we get by this post right here, we're going to want to set up for this drift and you will see that the world records drift much earlier than I do. And that is going to result in far less exit speed for me. But as we go over this bridge here, aligning ourselves on the left side and again, angling ourselves towards the right side corner. This turn can be a bit tricky. It's very easy here to end up being too wide and crashing out on many things on the left hand side. And as we align ourselves for the upcoming jump here, we'll see the world records go wider than I do. Uh, not a huge deal, honestly, as long as you're not too far inside for this jump, it shouldn't be of a major concern on where you land. But as we go up this hill, you want to do any speed sliding you can up until the very end of this boost pad. Because at the end of this boost pad, the sand starts. And as far as I know, you cannot speed slide on penalty sand. And from here to the end of the track, you'll be on that penalty sand. And if you are not going for the cut, you want to try to steer as little as possible while you are driving over it. But now we are going to switch over from my camera view to the camera view to the car in front of us, which is going to be doing the cut so we can get a better look at what that cut is doing. We'll see them stick on the right hand side here and then they'll drive up to this pole here, clip their right wheel on it. This is going to send them up in the air due to the reactor boost. That reactor boost is also going to send them over the reset block, get them a ton of speed here and on the way down. Again, the reactor boost is going to want to suck them back down to the ground so they get an extreme amount of speed here all the way down to the finish line. And that's going to do it for today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like the video and subscribe. If you want any other info or help on previous track of the days, there are plenty of other analysis videos already out on the channel, so please feel free to check them out. There's also a link to my Discord in the description if you are interested in joining there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one.